An arrowhead-shaped logo features a lone bison standing beside a tall evergreen tree. National Park Service, U.S. Department of the Interior. A white branch graphic floats against a light green background. Olmsted Center for Landscape Preservation. Tall grasses with fuzzy tips quiver in a breeze. Agricultural Landscape at Martin Van Buren National Historic Site, Kinderhook, New York. Megan O'Malley, Superintendent. Martin Van Buren National Historic Site is about Lindenwald, the mansion that the president occupied right after his presidency ended. There are a couple of components to the landscape. There's the core historic part, which is the area including the historic mansion and the grounds immediately adjacent to it. The majority of the park are agricultural fields. The majority of the park is actually not owned by the National Park Service, which is extraordinary and appropriate. Jennifer Hanna, Of the almost 300 acres author. that comprise the Martin Van Buren National Historic Site, less than 20% is owned by the National Park Service. Instead, much of the land is owned by Roxbury Farm, a CSA. The agricultural management guidelines were produced by the Olmsted Center for Landscape Preservation as a collaborative tool. They describe sustainable agricultural methods as well as strategies for protecting resources and helping to engage visitors through active farming. Leafy crops and bales of hay. The agricultural management guidelines help inform park management about agriculture. You know, we don't come here with that training and that knowledge. So it gives us a tool that we can use to familiarize ourselves with with not just agriculture generally, but this specific kind of agriculture. So it's a vital tool, otherwise you'd have management coming here without, Patricia West without a lot of knowledge of uh, how, to, how, how this park is a little different than other parks they may have encountered. Jean-Paul Cortens, owner, manager It's an of interesting Farmer, coincidence. Farm. I grew up in Amsterdam, Holland, I'm Dutch, and here I was on the one you know, Dutch-speaking president estate and farming his former estate. And so I got interested in reading about it. And I think one of the things that truly interested me was that the sustainable agriculture movement as we know it today was really born around that time in the 1850s. Megan O'Malley. He was what would have been referred to as a progressive farmer, uh, meaning he was really conserved with techniques that preserved the fertility and health of the soil in the long term. We have the great fortune to work with a fantastic agricultural collaborator, Roxbury Farm. Jean Paul Cortens. Roxbury Farm uh, is an integrated farm. Black cows. Um, where we have livestock uh, and we grow vegetables and we uh, produce those for a community of about 1,500 families in New York, Westchester County, Columbia County, and the Capital District. Jennifer Hanna. The guidelines help to facilitate collaboration between the National Park Service, Roxbury Farm, and the Open Space Institute who holds a conservation easement on the farmland. Katie Petronis, program manager. The Open manager. Space Institute is a national conservation organization um, which is focused on conserving open space, scenic preservation, habitat, water quality, and also farm and forest land. Farmland preservation is important here because in Columbia County in the past 50 years, we've lost more than half of the farmland. and particularly here where the soils are so rich, that's such an important resource and it's so hard to get back once it's gone. So once you build over it, it's much, much more difficult to take things down and rebuild those soils. It's, it's very hard to do, if not impossible. Jean-Paul Cortens. Unless we become much better farmers than we are right now, uh, it's gonna be very difficult to feed the, the population. So while feeding the world might sound like a very old slogan, the reality is, is that if we have no land, we simply can't feed people. So it's very important that we take care of farmland, we protect farmland, we don't build on it. So also we can sustain future generations on this farm. Megan O'Malley. This agricultural land has been in active use for hundreds and hundreds of years. And the only way you do that is to plan for the long term. And that's at the core of what Van Buren was trying to do. Uh, for very different reasons, but the farm today is planning for the long term, for the long term health of the soil, for the long term fertility of the soil. A butterfly. So that it can stay active for generations into the future. Credits appear over footage of cows. Special thanks to Jean Paul Cortens, Patricia McKay, Megan O'Malley, and Katie Petronis. Additional credits appear. Visit the links in the description below to learn more about the Martin Van Buren Agricultural Landscape.